I have this 2D cell Mac like from many years ago, probably at least 20 years. And it uses the old incandescent bulb. And of course, it can't really compare to the LED flashlight that you have now. So it's time for an upgrade. And I bought this off eBay. This LED bulb is about 55 lumens. And the most important thing is it operates from 2 to 6 cell flashlights. So I don't know how they do it, but uh, what I have here is two cells. So I'm going to use this in the flashlight. And so long as, uh, actually, that was the original bulb. This was the original bulb. And the upgrade is basically supposed to be plug and play. So it's supposed to put it here. Screw it in. And you're in business. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And I've been using rechargeable NC batteries. And they're actually not that great with the incandes incandescent bulb. They don't last long. And uh, it's any good. Almost like a daylight to warm uh, neutral color light. So it's of course with the with the Mac light you can focus the beam. I am thinking of using, instead of using NC batteries, I'm thinking of using a lithium ion battery. This is uh, nominally 3.7 and uh, it charges up to 4.2 volt. The other option is for me to use uh, AA batteries and use the Aniloop and use this type of uh, adapter. But I was thinking more in terms of using the uh, lithium ion battery. So what I did, I put a little nut and bolt in here. And I put a piece of wire at the nipple of the battery holder. So that it will make good contact with this positive end here. Because this battery holders really for uh, AA batteries so with uh, lithium ion battery the nipple or the positive contact is very wide it doesn't really fit into this battery holder here so put a nut and bolt in here I, I guess I can take it out and show you this is the nut So that's the uh, positive contact at the bottom. So I pass a piece of wire which is folded in half through the hole here of the battery holder and I bend the wires back at this end and also at this end so that it would make good contact with the bolt here so I'm just going to insert the bolt there's a little clip at the front of the contact there there are like four plastic clips and you just press it in it snaps in so this would be the extender and this would be my lithium ion battery and I kind of make a little plastic flange out of this um, bulb holder here. This is a piece of plastic. You can use anything, cardboard, anything, because 
when you insert this into the battery holder it would flop around inside the in the flashlight so you need something to to keep it in place so after you do that you could insert your you could insert your uh, flashlight you can insert your so after you, you do that you can insert your battery into the flashlight and your battery would be held somewhat in the center and to make good contact because the spring here the original one has a Y hole in the in the middle it's not going to make contact with the negative of the battery so I just cut a piece of metal off a uh, window spline holder and I haven't even bothered to uh, square it off or uh, round it off so and this is held naturally by the spring action the tension of the spring and then I would just screw it in And that's it and hopefully when you turn it on it will light up and it did so this conversion would be brighter than what I had done before by simply using the NC battery because these are 1.5 volt and this setup here with a lithium battery is 4.2 volt and it's going to be brighter than this and since the label here says operate operates two to six cells so um, it should work uh, hopefully it wouldn't burn out the bulb that's a focus beam I have another flashlight here this is this flashlight uh, let's, this is a T6 it's supposed to be 2000 lumens This is the brightest and if I zoom it you can see that it is indeed brighter than my uh, Mac light. It's brighter than this side by side. But this upgrade would be would be a tremendous improvement um, over the default bulb. The default bulb is this one here which I quickly burn out when I uh, when I inserted the battery uh, just trying to see if it would light it up and I forgot that this this is actually close to 4.2 volt and it immediately burned out this bulb here this I had this bulb I had for 20 years and I burned it out in an instant so this would be the new and hopefully improved uh, light adjustable and look at this I think when I got it it was like $25 from over 20 years ago it's a solid piece of aluminum yeah. and I think it will probably last another 20 years okay thanks for watching